South Yuba Trail. You and I have some unfinished business. Let's do it. I'm coming for you, trail. Grateful for my peace style. Much better. We go. people and they saw you know that I was backpacking and there were two women and one of them says to the other one backpacking all by yourself can you imagine <laughs> there are a lot of easements out here across mining claims that have been here you know since the 1800s so there's a lot of signage about mines and certain areas that you can't camp. Even signs like that that have been destroyed over the years. But that is enough to tell me that I'm on someone's claim. But I'm also staying on the trail and leaving no trace. Sometimes I see evidence of humans and wonder what the story is.
a lot of this trail you can't even see the river like right now you can hear it but uh it's a ways down there there are a handful of access points but you have to kind of plan your water i mean i'm carrying i have my leader here but i have my three liter cnoc bag if i need to fill it and carry it i can i've done that before out here or the western portion that's um, between Edwards and Purden crossings, there's basically no river access at all. And even at Edwards crossing, it's not the easiest access, especially if your legs are tired. that's been done out here. When I came before, there's about a half a mile stretch that probably had 15 or so big down trees, the kind where you're going up the hillside like this or down the hillside like this to get around them because like the top of it is what's across the trail. It's not like you can just get over a log or under. Some of them you were going over, some of them you were going under. It was a little bit of everything which is really fun with a big backpack on. A lot of the other side of the trail, so when you get to Edwards Crossing, you cross the river. Right now I'm on the north side of the South Yuba Trail, but you go to the south side, which is north facing, so it's much more green, much mossier. This is a little bit more like what the other side of it looks like. Cool. And down to the river. And you can see why you wouldn't want to swim out there necessarily. There are some little swim holes that I think are probably safer and maybe later in the season they're not moving quite as swiftly. I would hope that they would be a little safer than this is right now. prolific out here <laughs> even flowering yeah I'm definitely washing my legs <laughs> very like probably as soon as I get to camp here because there's Sunning himself on the rock there. Definitely a good idea to watch your footing with these snakes. <laughs> so one of my fears is that I will get to my site that I want and someone will be there. So uh, it's about four miles back 
to the next spot for a campsite. So I am uh, trying to be mindful of like any sites that I see. But this is still, like I said, about four miles away from where I'm planning on camping. Um, someone is clearly living over here. And I saw something on the other about that. But I wasn't entirely sure where they were living. That means I am definitely going to where I was planning on. I mean, there's another spot you can kind of see down over here. Another little spot for a tent. So, I mean, if I absolutely had to, there's that. tree fell. Hmm. Thankfully that's like it got cleaned up. <laughs> now I'm in Logan Canyon. It's just cool here. Way down there is the creek. And back that way is the river. And that's no joke over here. I'm not ready to put my head net on. Don't you worry, I'll always come back for you. This must have been a nightmare before they cleared it up. I guess you could have gone under over there maybe, but clearly they had to cut away quite a bit over here. I'm grateful that they did. Well, it's 6 p.m. and the mosquitoes have begun to welcome me. So it's time to spray down here. Just a minute ago, there were like three of them on my leg. I'm like, oh, okay, it's time. <laughs> Dude, the mosquitoes are out of control out here. So, it's time for the head net. I love having it with my hat on because it keeps it off of my face. I remember my sunglasses getting in the way before. All right, and I like to tuck it in around my neck just to give the little buggers one less place to get in. There. 
super fancy. Ready to roll. Man, those switchbacks are gonna be really fun to come back up. <laughs> Coming out of Logan Canyon-ish into another canyon over here. And the mosquitoes, like I can totally see them. It's not right, not so bad as it was back there, but I could just like see them swarming around. The mosquitoes in <laughs> my ears. Ugh. I love how nice and cool it is in these little canyons. It's like when I was at the one with the waterfall, it was like 66 according to my thermometer, which is very pleasant. It's not like it's that hot out in the sun, but it's just nice. One lone leaf on this tree. grateful that this got cleaned up before I got here. This looks like definitely something we, people had to go around. I love all this Indian paintbrush out here. It's so pretty. Flowers! The sun is officially behind the hillside there. If you come and do this trail, I highly recommend that you do it with long pants. Because, yeah, all of this is brushing up on my legs, including the poison oak. Well, that wasn't poison oak, probably. This is the last of the canyons before I get to Missouri Bar, which is where I'm camping, hopefully, <laughs> since this is not exactly the kind of place where you can find lots of, uh, alternative places to put a tent or even a hammock around here. Whoop, big old spider down there. being a lot of succulents on the other end of this on the rocks like that so I guess if worst comes to worst I can through the poison oak and get down there hopefully my sight will be available I decide if I want that one right there that one's pretty sweet That's good to know. There's at least one spare. Okay. Let me see if I like that one better, actually. Although, I did <laughs> I like the other one a lot. This has got kind of rough water access. Yeah. It looks like there's another little site over here. 
Well, I'm glad that there's more than one, so I'm not stuck. Let's see what else potentially. Cool. So another site here. Sweet. Okay. I'm very encouraged by the fact that I don't smell a campfire or see anything. Oh, my sight is there. I'm so happy. because it's starting to get dark. <laughs> this little creek here, which is a great little water source. If you want to use a smaller water source. So last time I came down that into this site. Oh, so happy it's available. Oh my gosh, what a relief. Been weighing on me. So this is the tent pad here. There, there's that one. Just walked away from camp, picking up firewood, and then putting it on the trail. So I'm gonna go pick it up now. Oh my back. I got a couple good pieces here. One of these was so dry that it shattered when I put it down. So I think it's uh, seasoned. Yep, that's why we use the tent. I'm sitting. Oh. <laughs> Glorious sitting. Got my half of a chicken coconut curry peak refuel. Make sure that my valve is totally closed. <laughs> there it goes. There. Some added stability because it's actually fairly stable here, but. Nothing wrong with being a little bit more stable. There we go. Hello? Hello, tick. Huh. Literally a tick crawling on my hand right now. But he's gone now. I think I have probably about, yeah, exactly that amount in here. One thing down.
stoked. I brought my flex tail gear, tiny tongue. So one thing I'm trying out is an inflatable body pillow, essentially. I would show you the instruction manual, but it is a not safe for work. Let's just say it's sold as a position pillow, but I'm gonna see how it works for a body pillow. <laughs> Do I even wanna know what that's for? <laughs> Nothing that happens in my house. <laughs> well, we'll see how it works. rattlesnake right alongside the trail that just hissed at me. <laughs> you can see evidence of the uh, heavy metals here. The one time I did not bring a rain fly. <laughs> 